like everyone had gained a measure of peace for a while. Until... Chibiusa came and fell from the sky right onto Usagi's head. She used some kind of strange hypnotism on my family and convinced them that she was my cousin. More difficult stuff. Before that, the so-called Black Moon UFO appeared and targeted the Silver Crystal of Illusion. With half the bodies missing, it's only a matter of time before they attack again. Assuming they could find the other half of their body. Tuxedo Mask and I? No. Mamul, my love, how are we going to do this? And for interfering with Maiden's love and all, on behalf of the moon, I will completely punish you! Now, you may be wondering, what the hell am I doing of playing a Sailor Moon game? Well, a couple things. At the time of this recording, Yumicon is right around the corner. Uh, the anime events in, held in Detroit, Michigan at the Kobo Center and the Renaissance Center as well every year in the beginning of November. So we are just about a, a little over a week away from that. So I figured, why not? It's, you know, I figure it'd be perfect. You know, a nice little perfect playthrough to help, you know, get the spirits up for those that are attending, for those who plan on going. Also, I do have a bit of history. Let's see. Okay, so we have Sailor Moon. Uh, Sailor Mercury, which I believe this is Jupiter, this is Mars, and this is, let me see, uh, Venus, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, there we go. But we're going to go with the, the heroine of the game. And yes, this was, uh, we, we did not get any Sailor Moon games here in the United States, they were all Japan exclusive, what I am playing is a English translated version. And a cuckoo machu to you too, Sailor Moon. All right. But yeah, Sailor Moon was the, in America, was actually the first anime series to ever uh, to ever be shown. And as like, I remember watching it, the cartoon when I was a kid and just being mesmerized because uh, it was just like, it was different. You know, it was different at the time. There was no cartoon that was like it. And, like I said, if I am not mistaken, Sailor Moon was the first anime to uh, debut in the United States. So, and I was one of those, uh, you know, I was one of the kids, one of those kids that did see it. It ran from, uh, let's see, in Japan it ran in from 92 to 2000. Uh, in America, I believe it, it debuted in 1995. And it would stop airing on normal television in 97. And then they would have a, a series on the Cartoon Network for a while, Sailor Moon Crystal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know there are a couple people out there who are Sailor Moon enthusiasts. I know a couple people in real life who love to share Sailor Moon. Uh, my sister, uh, an old friend from high school. Um, and it was just, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful, you know, it was a wonderful series. And with, I just couldn't stop watching it honestly and the theme song i had remember the theme song especially an american uh, debut my goodness it was uh certainly you know certainly memorable you know it was just like kick-ass intro and you know queen barrel and tuxedo mask and everybody and especially with the talking cat i forgot what her name was um but one thing that I do recall is that within the first season alone, if you see the entire intro, uh, the main villain is, uh, at least in the intro, is destroyed after the first season. Uh, Americans only got the first four, uh, only got four seasons of, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Sailor, get out of the way, Jesus, stay, stop, there we go, I'm just going to jump in, there we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, sorry, I'm just trying to focus here. I'm not trying to lose a life. So early on, get over here. Stop it! Stop comboing me, damn it. There we go. 
Yeah, if the if the enemy lays one hit on you, uh, you can't recover until they finish their combo. So you could potentially get basically bodied until you lose a life, like I'm about to right now. But um, just a there you go, some health. There we go. But just a uh, just, uh oh crap, I forgot what I was saying. But no, Americans got four seasons of Sailor Moon, and they got the Cartoon Network series, which was based off Sailor Moon Crystal. I believe. I believe. The theme song was awesome. The main villain was destroyed. Uh, Queen Barrel was destroyed after the first season. Which, uh, once season two premiered, uh, in 96, it was just like, um... Okay, so who are these new villains? Who are these new characters? Who are these new bad guys, you know? And the intro still didn't reflect that. You know, they didn't change the intro, at least from what I remember. Um, it still had Queen Barrel, even though she was already dead. And... You know, just, you know, I'm just, you know, it's been a while. I mean, like, I haven't seen a Sailor Moon episode in, oh my god, I mean, I can't, since my, ch since childhood, probably, 20 years. So, um, little clips here and there, but, like, I haven't actually sat through an entire episode. And, I know my sister, she, uh, saw, for a while, she used to watch the, uh, Japan uh, the Japanese, uh, version of it, uh, the anime in Japan. You know, she saw episodes. Of course, it was dubbed over, so you got uh, English, vo uh, Japanese voices, but uh, you know, English translation on the bottom. And you know, there was up uh, did some research between you know what we got in the anime uh, in the North American versus the Japanese, because obviously you know Japanese culture, you know, they're not as lax in, as when it comes to like censorships and stuff like that. You know, America's hard, you know, you know, hard on. Uh, hard on that crap even though you know it doesn't make any sense but whatever and looking uh doing some research um apparently the only american episodes that aired was not the entire series i believe the first episode of sailor moon in north america i believe was episode three in japan so you know it's interesting and there was a couple of episodes between season one and season two you know, there were seven lost episodes in total, but because they had to make so many changes to a couple of episodes, two episodes got condensed into one. So, you know, it, I mean, it's crazy. And, and then another thing is, uh, there are five sailor, uh, five sailor rats here, as I'm going to call them. But the, uh, you know, you know, I'm trying to remember the theme song in my head to try to remember their names of the originals. Uh, sailor Venus, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter. Uh, next, uh, within a couple, next few seasons after that, you would get Neptune, Pluto, uh, uh, shit, what else? They, they're named after the planets of the system. So, I mean, obviously that's what they're going for, and they're, you know. Alright, so we're now at the boss of, uh, Act 1 here. Bam! And we just press the screen nuke here, as represented by the, the ribbons up there. Press the X button, and you do a screen nuke. Pretty much, essentially. And this is your basic beat-em-up, you know, if you played Streets of Rage, if you played Final Fight, if you played, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X-Men, the arcade versions at least, uh, you'll see that, ah, you will see... That it's just pretty much the same thing. Y is your attack button, B is your jump button. A is your special attack button, which if it does connect, you will lose health. Uh, you know, beat them up logic that takes uh, such as such. And should you beat the boss, all the enemies will run off screen. And that takes care of the end of the first stage. Never give up, no matter how bad the situation is, says the great tuxedo mask. Until we meet again. I remember uh, as a kid, even, when I was watching episodes of Sailor Moon, and uh, when I would watch the interactions in their human form, in, my, in quotes, um, with Tuxedo Ma What the hell happened? Why did it... Good. Okay. Alright. I don't know what happened there, but anyways. I remember watching um, the cartoon, or the, and the anime... Which is, which is short for animation, so I guess technically either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the interactions between Sailor Moon herself and Tuxedo Mask when they were in school together. And you can tell, like, there was, like, a whole bunch of tension being built up. So, um, and it's just, like, for me, I, even though I saw it, I was like, 
like, you guys should know this, like, Sailor Moon loves Tuxedo Mask, is in love with Tuxedo Mask. So, it's like, it's like, you do, like, do you not recognize, or do, like, do you not know Tuxedo Mask is the same guy you're in love with from your school or some shit? Oh my god, come on. There we go. I hate these enemies right here. There we go. Uh, the best way to deal with these is just to uh, go up, go up them from above, and then like when you get close enough, you automatically grab them, and then you just flip them, assuming that they want to work with me here. Thank you, thank you. So, ooh, and they do hurt. You can actually play as a uh, uh, as a Chibi, and you know most of the attacks won't reach her because you know she's very she's short. So all of her attacks, all the enemies' attacks, they don't think about, uh, you know, let me get right that so I can get some health back. The enemies don't think about, uh, ugh. hold on, try and, there we go, try and get some concentration here. Ah, damn it. Of course. Aw, every time you do stuff for a death, you do, uh, you know, get like a little crying animations, like, oh no, Sailor Moon. She hurt. She hurt. Thing badly. But, um, yeah. So, you have your lives counter. I have set, you know, if you play on normal difficulty, if you want to get the full experience of the game, because if you play on easy mode after this stage, if you beat it, uh, you pretty much getting, you get a message saying, hey, you scrub, play on a more higher difficulty, you piece of shit. So, essentially, that's what you gotta do. You gotta play on normal, and I believe if you do beat on hard mode, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to research again, but if you do play on hard mode and beat it, I believe there is a uh, extra special cutscene, or I'm probably thinking of another Sailor Moon game. Like I said, we never got any of these Sailor Moon games for for what some reason. I have no idea why. And it's just, oh my god, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Thank you, come on. There we go, get him out of here. Some more of these fuckers here. Alright, Tuxedo Rose. Get over here. Jesus, come on. There we go. Fuck it. Alright, so I got my free guy back that I lost earlier. Yep. And then you also have a, uh, a special attack too, which doesn't cost any money. If you hold down the attack button, you'll charge up, and when it fully char uh, when it fully fills up in the bar next to your life, bam, special attack. Which doesn't cost any energy to use or anything like that, so... Which is pretty cool, pretty awesome. Thank you. Alright, so let's see here. Ah, there we go. Play as her day as Sailor Moon herself. I always known her as Sailor Moon. I don't remember what her real name was in the series. And I know for a lot of the... Uh, didn't they actually also re -re uh, release a uh, Sailor Moon movie recently? Or, or like a special movie? It was only shown in select theaters. I know... I, it was only like select theaters where it was. It wasn't released everywhere, but it was something recent. I think with the past year and a half or so. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah. So obviously, I'm not a big fan. Uh, I'm not, I, well, I'm not saying I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan. I am a fan of Sailor Moon. I do enjoy it. I think it's a great series. But I'm just a casual watcher. I'm not no hardcore, you know, anime binge. A watch or anything like that. Matter of fact, the only few animes I've ever seen in my life were pretty much the ones that were dubbed for America. So, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball, the original, and then Dragon Ball Z. I remember watching that as a kid. I enjoyed Dragon Ball Z as a kid. And the ending, uh, I think what, the, what was the ending of Dragon Ball, where they did collect all, one of the scenes that actually stood out in my mind from Dragon Ball was, uh, was when the enemy finally got all seven Dragon Balls and they was going to make a wish and it was one of the hero characters had wished for a pair of underwear to try to negate, you know, the bad guy's uh, influence on wanting to destroy or wanting to rule the world, you know, so. No, 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 get away, get away. Don't fall in there for the love of God. Don't fall in the water, you'll lose health. It's not an automatically, automatic life loss, but, you know. It's not an automatic life loss, but you will lose a ton of energy. I believe, I don't know, I did remember seeing like other playthroughs, but flip the enemies into the water, if you can, you can beat them up, don't worry, you don't have to knock them in there, it's just, you just gotta make sure, you, 
you can get there. There we go. There we go. Flip them over. Ah, damn it. Got comboed. There we go. Kill both of them. Careful. No, 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 no. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh my god, I'm getting bodied. Alright, I'm just gonna jump kick my way over there and just jump kick, uh, you gotta come over there, there we go, and BAM! Thank you. Let me see, I know there's another way to... Ah, damn it, lost our life. There we go, and... Well, they're gonna die anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. That's cool. Ow. Alright, so we're in a second stage here. Like a little nice little water session. Section. Beautiful. Kill two birds with one stone. Make that three. There we go. Make that four. Make it five. And if you stay idle for a bit, she does dance. However, I got enemies come this way, so... There we go. There we go. Flip them off. Let's just wait for a second. She does her animation. Yep. Get out of here. It's my boat. This is my boat. This is mine. Mine. Oh, okay, there we go. That was a special attack I was talking about. Oh, okay. There we go. I didn't realize you could jump with the enemies. But you can't attack. You can't throw them right there, that's for sure. There we go. Kick him in the water. Kick her in the water. So we should be nearing the end of this little log ride here, if I'm not mistaken. Almost there. I think we got one more set of enemies, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, I think we're done. I think we're good here. There we go. And we got the... Ah, I pick up the, the freaking rose and... I get attacked in the process. And it's like, hey, Tuxedo Mask left that shit for me. That is mine. You do not touch the rose. You deserve to get your ass whooped. by probably the... Well, I don't know. All right, boss number two. We're just gonna screen nuke the shit out of him. So that's one, wait for him to get back on screen. By the way, the screen nukes do refill between each stage. You will automatically get two to start with. And there we go, that's it. Three screen nukes and you're done. He's dead. Did not have to touch him once. Today's victory belongs to you, Sailor Moon. And I have no idea what's going on with the points here. Okay. Basically, you get an overall grade. Very good is A, good is B. Um, okay, I have no idea what it is. I think it's a C or something. I'm not sure. Something's wrong with, you know. It was working fine beforehand, so. And now we're going to move on to Strange. Strange. We are moving on to Stage 3. Ooh! Stage 3, Crystal Tokyo. And I'm going to call it a session here. And when we come back, we are going to fight these uh, little these monsters here. And hopefully I can have some more, more information for you guys about Sailor Moon. And hopefully not sound like a complete dumbass in the process. So with that, I do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantastic night. Love, peace, and chicken grease to all of the awesome ones out there. Have yourselves a good night.